Hello everyone, my name is Psycho. this is All The Mods 9 to Disguise, episode 29. So, we, last episode, we built this fissile fuel uh, generator, <laughs> we can see here. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna use that for making uh, turbines and uh, uh, fishing reactors that's gonna generate steam, and the steam is gonna be put into turbines to generate power. But uh, that is going to be a longer episode, and I'm actually on vacation right now, so this is a pre-recorded video. So I think I will go, uh, do a little bit something easier, and that is uh, to upgrade my power ball with awakened dr uh, draconium. Turns out I already have 30 blocks of awakened draconium, and I must admit I don't know where I got them from. Uh, I think it was a crystal ward or something, but if you look at the crystal ward, uh, Quest to see here. I don't know where. Uh, if you could do this, yeah, it's a quest for making the stabilizers tier seven. But I don't remember making that many, so I don't know where I got these actually. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. So we can actually make the seeds. So let's see here. Uh, the seeds is uh, insanium. Okay, so let's make that quickly. Insanium. Add some pro. I think we're gonna make two of them because I want to test something. Insanium. There we go. Let's go to our mystical agriculture part. We have done this a couple of times before. And let's take the draconium. Weirdly, like this does not require a full block apparently, but only a single one. So, but I'm not complaining. But we need a, we need a lot of those to upgrade this uh, power ball up there. So, because as far as I remember the the growth rate uh, for these seeds uh, using the farm we have right now is not that fast. So I want to go into uh, the phyto, 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 let's see what it's called. The phytogenic ice insulator. Because now we have the to, uh, uh, means to make a, a tool that can speed up quite fast. So. Yeah, it doesn't grow very fast, you can see, unless I help it. So you will go in there, right? Yes. So I, I'm going to do its thing, and I'm going to look into how we can use the phyto, the phy, phyto, which I've got, if I can spell, phyto, phytogenic insulator. Yes, that's its name. So let's just pop it down here, and we're going to add this one. I'm going to give it some power. I Oh, we forgot I have a wild link crafting table. Let's get a point. Bob it up there. Uh, do the KMN's uh, network. And we need water, of course. So let's create a sink. We already have one. Let's get some pipes. Put the fluid pipe there. Can this actually pull? I'm just curious. So let's see here. It's input, auto input. Yeah, oh, much easier. <laughs> it's not very fast, actually, the pull. So let's just change the, get, get the pickaxe. Now this is insta break. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab the configurator. What's my wrench? Yeah, I should actually sort these things here. So this should, Put in the water much faster. Yes, it does. Perfect. No, not in there. That's the wrong place. It's a press B. There you go. So I'm going to put this block back here. And uh, this is not very fast. And if I go downstairs where I have my other machines, where are they? Where did I put them? I'm pretty sure I had some that generate sugar cane and stuff. Oh, over here. Yes. Yeah, these have the augment that is got a cyclic processing so it can feed itself. We're gonna do that. So let's make the cycling process. Cycle process is right there. Create one of those. And thank you very much. In you go. And we do this. So let's just look at this in the file so, so we can do bow meal and what was it? Phytogrow. Let's see, how can we create Phytogrow? Let's go over here. 
Phyto Grow, that is Red Sand, Nitra. I think we generate all these things. So let's do this. So Nitra, let's look at that. Nitra, we have six of those. And where do we get Nitra from? We get it from Reduction Smelter. No. Nitra dust, how do we get nitra? That's from nitra, so we don't have nitra that way. So let's see, phyto grow. We can use, it has to be nitra, okay. So let's see, how do we get nitra? We have nitra block of nitra, comparator, arc furnace, crusher, no, alloy smelting, nitra ore. We can get them from, uh, do we have nitra ore, actually? We do. Okay, let's see here. Let's do this. Oh, nitro all there. So we need a yellow laser drill. How can we get a yellow laser? We can do that. Oh, that was the wrong one. Yellow. So we can get our laser base uh, to generate these for us. So I'm just going to do that. No, I have to do this. Yellow lens. There we go. In you go. And you, oh. Oh, I just created one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was creating a recipe. So let's add you here. And we're going to get more nitro, hopefully. So let's go back to great green on the fiber because I want to speed this up. So if I do, that was the pattern. So the pattern goes in here, Boop. and let's say Phyto Grow, can we create a stack? No, we are missing Nitro, yeah. So Nitro there, and if we smelted it, we get one. If we use the Pulverizer, we can actually get it by, we get six. Okay, let's do that, much better. Here we go, no. Not flint. I'm gonna. So uh, how do I? Is it like this? No. How do I? There we go. There. Down to the polarizer. It's right there. One night because I only think we have pull. No, we don't have flint. We should actually put flint in this one. So let's get a extractor. Exporter. Exporter, here we go, and go downstairs, add the exporter there, get a cable, and we can always upgrade it to, uh, with different tiers of uh, augments. So let's get some flint, so we can start importing it there, and then we're going to say that the sides here, yeah, then print go in there, perfect. Let's try to make the phyto grow now. No, not this one, this one. There we go, start. So this should join the, the nitro, or oh, generate a little bit more because we have this, uh, there's a bonus output, perfect. So let's see here, phyto grow, perfect. We can add it in here. We already generated five of them, perfect. But we can make this even faster by augments. So let's see here. Augments. Didn't I also craft these? So it's a, it's components, yeah. So let's see. Yeah, I can craft those. So if we look at this one, the next recipe for the next tier is dracon draconic integration component. So with nether dust, dragon steel gear. Wait, can we make, I can't remember, can we make dragon steel gear? Dragon steel, yes we can. So let's go in here and say components. And we're gonna make the, the dragon steel version. In you go. I'm gonna just reset this one so we don't use it. Oh, shift right click and we put it back in here. So if I say component now, 
Can I make the dragon still? I'm missing the dragon still gear. Okay. Dragon gear. There. In you go. You go in there, and then we're going to say dragon steel gear or component. We're missing. Oh, dragon breath. That's right, yeah. I can make those downstairs here. We have the ender dragon, yes. We're going to add this in here, and we're going to say, give me some dragon breath. And I still don't know why this doesn't export, but uh, let's just make 64 of those. Let's get some more. There, and this is going to build up. I'm going to cheat and type home. In you go, and dragon steel. Uh, it. There. Now we can make it. So it's going to build up. Yes. Almost done. Yeah. It takes a while. So let's look at the the next tier, right? Because there's multiple tiers. So the next one is going to melodium ingot. How the hell do we make that? That is. Productive bees, productive bees. Is that the only way? Induction smelter? No, no, no. We are. We can make this. So this is in an induction smelter. So let's do oh, over here. Melodium. It was this one. Go to the induction smelter. Add the recipe. Boom. Go downstairs to our induction smelter, which is right there. Add this in here. So why are you having a single dragon still in there? And it's done. Component. And if we add this one right here now, now it's a bit faster, as you can see. A lot faster, actually. So uh, this is very annoying. Let's sleep. <laughs> so let's see here. If I want to make the next tier I'm gonna go over here and say component it's this one right yeah so I'm gonna make prism gear how the hell do we make that uh, that's another okay in you go over here in you go no oh, that was the wrong one it's this one <laughs> you go in here so if we make component and take it from middle we are missing the prisma gear pris gear there you go and i should be now be able to make this one the uh, this one yes so it's gonna craft a lot of things but it looks like this one is actually producing a lot of waking draconium. So the, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it downstairs to our system over here. Because that's where we have a lot, a lot of other things. There's also water. So on the, And I will try to see if I can upgrade it. So let's see the mellow component there. So the next step is the stellar. And stellar is... You can make all these things actually. So... Yeah, I will make a, and, uh, the recipe for this so we can get it to the high scale factor. So, and I think also this is actually a, a quest part. Let's see here. Where is it? Where is um, Fable series? Here we go. We made this. And it doesn't say we just, that's the highest tier. So, but I actually have completed this, these things here. And we need to uh, complete this part here to go to the advanced places so we uh, unlock the powerful reactors. As you can see here, if you go to, I'm just gonna accept everything here. Boop. Thank you. And you go to uh, mix advanced. You can see we have the, this is the antimatter chamber. This is the fission reactor. This is where we're gonna use, use the fission fuel to get steam. And this is a turbine with generate power. And then we can go into uh this is a thing i have never seen before so uh, we're gonna look into that later on but it's something about lasers <laughs> but this is uh, for next episode we're gonna do this so let's go back and yeah i will move things around and i will uh, build the step downstairs and i'll be right back
And one stellar integral, integral, integral component later, we now can install it in our little system down here. And I must say, this is quite fast, actually. It goes pretty, pretty fast. So, yeah, it goes a lot faster. I don't know how many do we get each time. So 281, we get three each time. So that's pretty nice. So let's see. For the stellar, are there any other upgrades we can do this for? No. What is the uses of this? So mainly used for stellar integrating component. What about the dust? No, it's only for these components here, but now we can make them. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to go back and enjoy my vacation. Uh, and I will be back on, it's going to be, well, Monday? Monday the 11th? Yeah, Monday the 11th. I will be back and I'll be uh, going to get started with uh, uh, going through the this part here. I've, I saw some videos where they recommend to start with a turbine. And once you have set up the turbine, you know the kind of the stats and how big a fishing reactor you need to build. So, yeah. But thank you for watching. Any comments to my, my playthrough of the mod pack, just write down in the comments below. And if uh, you want to join my, the server where I'm quite alone at the moment, <laughs> uh, there is server information on my Discord and link to my Discord are in the description down below. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.